What up, YouTube? Webhead Mike here, or as the movie I'm about to review would say, What's up? And what's up is that Iga is one heck of an entertaining movie. Now, if you'd have told me I'd have liked this movie, I'd have said, You're crazy. But S.S. Rajamuli did it again, and he did it back in 2012. And it's really just such a refreshing story. And it's really simple. It's boy meets girl, boy and girl fall in love, in comes romantic rival, hates boy, kills boy, boy gets reincarnated as a fly to exact his revenge on Sudeep and maintain his affection for Bindu. What more is there to say? I mean, it is as entertaining as it is ridiculous. And the cast is amazing. I mean, the guy playing Nani, what a charmer on screen. He is totally lovable, totally connectable, um, his in his love interest Bindu totally again charming while on screen everything she does it's so heartfelt touching and the villain Sudeep very compelling as a villain I gotta say I gotta hand it to him reacting to an invisible fly he is able to convey so much in every bits of his states how he is slowly unraveling in his sanity, his sleep, his his schedule, his obsession. These are these are things some actors might need a line or two, but he can just do it with looks quickly too. Now it starts off he, innocently enough with Nani constantly trying to find his affection for Bindu to be reciprocated. She's playing hard to get. Take a note, guys. It ain't always going to be easy. I mean, and then later on, he does say the I love you word. And guys, I, I, that is one thing I would not recommend. Don't come out and say that. Find other ways of communicating it. But the, the dude's so charming on this screen, I have to give him a pass for that. Anyway, he is eventually able to win his affection for her. And he is suddenly absconded away because... The rival, Sudeep, who can get any woman he wants with almost a snap of his fingers, sees that she still has eyes for Nani. He can't have that. Now, I'm not quite sure how and why Nani gets reincarnated, but he does. Another thing is, I seem to notice that there's this imagery that happens with having bare feet put down on you as maybe like a, an ultimate insult. But in this case, he says it quite simply as, I want to feel the life leave you as I step on you. Which I did like as, you know, as an American, I'm not going to get all the cultural stuff. And by the way, speaking of the cultural stuff, the theme of this movie, Iga, 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 man, that is, that is stuck in my ear. And I wish I was able to, well, I should say I will have to eventually learn the language Telugu because... I can't quite express what it's like to put that word to that music because it won't be the same in English. Like, fly, fly, fly doesn't quite have the same beat as Iga, Iga, Iga. You know, it's a, you'd have to have another beat to go with fly to give it the same impact. But this was recommended to me by a commentator. And if I find you, I'll link you this video because... Thank you. As I said, watching RRR, it had me looking forward to what SS Roger Muli is doing in the f in the future. But also, I want to know what happened in the past. And I was aware of Bahu Bali, and now I'm aware of Iga. So thank you to you. I'll find you if I can, Dro and drop a comment on this video. But, whew. It's amazing how simple entertainment can be and how great messages can be put in there, such as not interfering with love, you know, trying to do things the right way, as it would say, and to never underestimate the power of nature and love. Well, but that's what I took away from it. What about you? Have you seen Iga yet? And if you haven't, check it out on... Netflix or sail the high seas if you have to or find some other way of getting it because 
It is a treat. Trust me. And you'll thank me later when you see it. But again, let me know any thoughts I've missed on the comments below. And I thank you for watching this long. Until next time, Webhead Mike, out.